Hello, hello, and welcome back to Inspirations, where you can find encouragement to inspire a life. This is Dana Susan Beasley of AngelArts.biz, and I'm continuing a series on falling in love with the bridegroom. Before I get started, if you would like to get my complete falling in love with the bridegroom devotional for free, check the link in the description below. This devotional will teach you how to have quiet times and give you ample scriptures to spend in devoted study to our Lord and with our Lord. Now let's get to today's devotional. And again, as I mentioned yesterday, I am trying out a new mic, so hopefully all is well. I am liking it so far. So let's start with prayer. Dear Lord Jesus, I thank you that you embrace us as your prize possession. Thank you that you make praise songs so lovely to sing, and it is one of the wonder, most wonderful ways to spend our time. Help us to remember this and to spend this time in adoration to you. In your precious name, amen. And if you hear my lovely dog in the background, <laughs> he seems to be fairly active tonight. All right. So I am going to read Psalm 135, the message version. Friends, this is the word of the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the name of God. Praise the works of God. All you priests on duty in God's temple, serving in the sacred halls of our God. Shout hallelujah, because God's so good. Sing anthems to his beautiful name. And why? Because God chose Jacob. Embrace Israel as a prized possession. I, too, give witness to the greatness of God, our Lord, high above all other gods. He does just as he pleases, however, wherever, whenever. He makes the weather, clouds and thunder, lightning and rain, wind pouring out of the north. He struck down the Egyptian firstborn, both human and animal firstborn. He made Egypt sit up and take notice, confronted Pharaoh and his servants with miracles. Yes, he struck down great nations. He slew mighty kings. Sihon, king of the Amorites, also Og of Bashan, every last one of the Canaanite kings. Then he turned their land over to Israel, a gift of good land to his people. God, your name is eternal. God, you'll never be out of date. God stands up for his people. God holds the hands of his people. The gods of the godless nations are mere trinkets made for quick sale in the markets. Chiseled mouths that can't talk, painted eyes that can't see, carved ears that can't hear, dead wood, cold metal. Those who make and trust them become like them. Family of Israel, bless God. Family of Aaron, bless God. Family of Levi, bless God. You who fear God, bless God. O oh, blessed be God of Zion, first citizen of Jerusalem. Hallelujah. That is one powerful psalm. And so what can we glean that the bridegroom is like? And here, what I did is I took some of the passages and I put my name in it. So this is what I want you to do too. So I will give you an example and then I'll help you through it. I wrote, God chose Dana, embraced Dana as a prize possession. God stands up for Dana. It is lovely to sing praises to him. He is good. Therefore, singing praise is pleasant. Now it's your turn. I want you to put your name when I say a pause. All right, here we go. God chose, embraced, as a prize possession. God stands up for, it is lovely to sing praises to him. He is good, therefore singing praise is pleasant. 
And what is her response in all this? As the last stanza says, to bless him. Now, how can we practically apply this to our lives? I wrote down to get better. And at this time, one of the ways I really need to get better, as I mentioned yesterday, is insomnia. It's really, really troubling me. Very, very tired. I could use your prayer. But I want to improve so that I can have more time and energy to sing, to praise him, because that is one of the things right now that I'm not able to do because of my lack of energy and my voice. In fact, I'm going to take a sip of water. It does really affect me, so I want to get better. So, because I want to sing and dance and do all those things to bring glory to him, and that is what we can, and that that is what blesses him, is to sing praises to him, to work with our hands, to do, do everything with our whole heart to bring glory to him. All right, so that is all with the devotional. I'm going to end in prayer. Dear Lord Jesus, I thank you that you embrace us, you chose us, we are your prized possession. You stand up for us. Thank you that it's lo- it is lovely to sing praises to you. You are good. And therefore singing praises to you is pleasant. Help us in whatever is holding us back from praising you, from singing your praises. I know I shared my problem, this insomnia. And I do pray that you would help me with that and I know that those listening have other challenges and just help them with whatever that might be and give them the energy and the time and the space to sing praises to you and to bless you for all that you've done for us. And it's in your precious name I pray. Amen. Well, that's all for the day. Tomorrow I'll continue my series on falling in love with the bridegroom. Again, if you want the free devotional, check the link below. Would you like to go deeper with the scriptures? Find out more about my Becoming God's Bride Bible Study. Now, this Bible study is not what I call a crank the blank. It's going to actually teach you how to study the Bible for yourself. And you're going to grow closer to Christ and closer to your relationships here on this side of heaven. So check that out. Check that out also in the description box below. So with that, I'm going to leave you with my favorite blessing. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face to shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace. This is Dana Susan Beasley of AngelArts.biz. Together, may we reach new heights in our lives and beyond.